Lobby Tools, Florida's legislative intelligence company. Subscribe today to Florida's leading policy, budget, and campaign tracking service. Request a free trial today at LobbyTools.com. Letters provided by the governor's office describe a Florida vacation in the middle of the pandemic as a, quote, breath of fresh air and a, quote, refreshing experience. If people go on vacation, they want to be able to be on vacation. Speaking at a Panhandle press conference, Governor Ron DeSantis said he regularly hears from visitors to the state talking about how a vacation to Florida helped them over the past year. Just for their physical and their mental uh, well-being. Enjoy a little freedom. Along with the freedom-oriented policies making the state attractive, Visit Florida played a key role in marketing the state throughout the pandemic. My counterpart, uh, the president and CEO of Visit California, said straight out, Florida is eating our lunch. Visit Florida CEO Dana Young says the agency took an aggressive strategy. Florida was the only state marketing itself as a tourist destination across the country for a seven-month stretch during the pandemic. I think Florida does offer tremendous freedom in many ways, and uh, people saw that, and that is reflected in the 6% increase uh, that we saw in visitation over 2019. Visit Florida's funding is set to expire in 2023, but state lawmakers are hoping to push it back until at least 2031. With what they were dealing with, to keep our economy like it is, uh, I think it shows more than ever the importance of having that statewide agency. The agency is asking for an annual budget of $75 million. It says marketing to international travelers will be the next step ahead of borders reopening in November. Reporting from the state capitol, I'm Jake Stofan.